Welcome back to Upfront. The UW system faced challenges even before COVID-19. Finances and declining enrollment were some big issues, but since COVID, it's all become much more difficult. Governor Evers on Wednesday said his administration will be looking for an additional $250 million in cost savings. The interim UW system president, Tommy Thompson, said the cuts will be an obstacle to the system's efforts to safely provide classes this fall. The campuses are due to resume classes in September with a hybrid of online and in-person instruction. So we're talking now about all of this with system president and former governor Tommy Thompson. We know you are very busy, so we appreciate you making time for us. The governor just announced those cuts. Any idea how much the UW system could lose? Yes, we, we have been told uh, approximately, but we are sort of uh, discussing it with the governor and the governor's office and the Department of Administration. We think we're going to be able to uh, reduce that amount. We're hopeful, but it's uh, it's going to be harmful to the institution, but we're going to be able to uh, work with the governor. I'm confident and work with the staff, and I'm fairly satisfied that we're going to be able to handle it, uh, but it's going to be difficult. Could you tell us that original number that's out there right now? Well, we've already been uh, reduced by over 50 million uh, through the first cut. Uh, but the second cut, uh, we still are, we're still discussing it with them. So I, I don't want to put a figure out there because I'm pushing back. And I think that, you know, this, this institution, uh, the University of Wisconsin system, is so important to the state of Wisconsin. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This, next to its people, is the most valuable asset we have in the state. Well, and I know that you requested $110 million from the governor for tests, contact tracing, personal protective equipment. Do you think that schools can safely reopen without that money? Yes, we can. We are going to open up on the 2nd of September, and we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that our campuses are safe, that our professors, our instructors, our employees, and above all, our students are going to be safe and protected. We're doing a lot of things. We're, we're putting out the protocols for all the classrooms. We're putting up signage. So in some entrances and exits, you can only go one way. We're also going to mandate masks that have to be worn in the classroom. In any place you're in a, in a in closed space or any time you cannot social distance, we're going to require masks. We're also going to be requesting that students get flu vaccines and vaccinations. We're also going to be doing everything we possibly can to make sure that after every class and every day, we do a tremendous in-depth cleaning uh, to make sure that we are able to get rid of the viruses wherever possible. We are going to open schools and classrooms, and we're going to be able to have them in a very safe and healthy way. Well, and making sure you know what students are doing in the classroom is one thing, but what about outside the classroom and on weekends? Well, I think, you know, there's no way that we're going to be able to control young men and women after the classroom is uh, is vacated and they're on outside the classroom. But we think all of our education, we're seeing a lot more of our students wear masks. We see a lot more social networking going around about we got to be safe, we got to be able to do it. We think the social pressure uh, from our professors to our instructors to individual students are going to have a tremendous uh, impact on students. And we're hopeful that they're going to be able to exercise more protection and safety outside the classroom like they do inside. And you're incredibly passionate about making sure you get the system back open. Why do you want that instead of being virtual classes? Every experience, every uh, social networking, every uh, psychologist that's really been written about and been talking about is about the need to open up our classrooms. Students need to have the social interaction with other students. They need to be able to meet with their professors. I'm hearing it from my own grandchildren who are going to college. I hear it from parents. I hear it from students. I hear it from the professors. Let's get the classrooms open. I think it's, it adds to the experience of going to college. What about Badger football? I know everyone's wondering about that. Well, that uh, question is going to be decided relatively soon. It's uh, uh, Barry Alvarez is just doing an outstanding job as uh, the head of the athletic department. I know he's discussing it with the other Big Ten commissioners and athletic uh, 
heads. And uh, we, we want to make sure, if we're going to play football, that our student athlete is protected. That's number one. If we can make sure the student athlete is protected, I think we'll play. Without that assurance, I'm not sure that we'll be able to play. And what do you say to the teachers who are more concerned about being in the classroom with students? I understand that. And I'm talking to professors. Yesterday, I, I had an hour meeting with a, a group of professors across the, the district and the system. And we understand that. What we're going to do is we're going to look at each individual person that has a question and problem. Individual students may have situations where they may be symptomatic or have some problems being in school. We're going to take those by a case by case method. And last question, this is changing gears a little bit. You've held so many positions, including Secretary of Health and Human Services and obviously Governor. So while I have you, I wanted to ask your take on the presidential race here in Wisconsin. I think it's going to be the most interesting presidential election any of us have seen in a long time. And Wisconsin is pivotal. Wisconsin is probably going to be the state to determine the next president of the United States. That's uh, high honor for the state of Wisconsin, uh, but I'm not, uh, I am here to tell you that it's going to be a very close race and it's going to be exciting. Who do you think will take the state? I'm, I'm telling you that right now I'm president, acting president of the University of Wisconsin. We're opening up on 2nd of September and it's going to be safe. It'll come and visit the University of Wisconsin system, Adrian. Okay, we'll end it on that. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time here with us. Thank you. President Trump insists that voting by mail will lead to what he calls a rigged election. We'll hear from a Republican Party chairman who wants him to stop saying that next.